The brothers of AJR have a hit single out, I'm Ready, and tonight they are playing a live show here at Lucky Strike in Los Angeles. I'm Chris Tronson with That's So Hollywood, and we sit down and talk with them now. Hey everyone, we are here at Lucky Strikes in Hollywood with AJR right before your show tonight. You guys have a show here tonight. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's really exciting. We're, we're really happy to be back in LA. Yes, absolutely. You guys had a show here a couple months ago. Uh, what is your pre-show rituals? Like, you guys have a show a little bit later. I mean, are we, are we nervous? Are we stressed? How do we get in the mode and ready for a performance? Uh, we like to listen to music. We have this song by Macklemore. What's it called? Jimmy Iovine. That's what it's called. And we just like to listen to it and get pumped up and then run out. Which one of you is the nerve, nervous one, and which one of you is just like chill, no stress? Um, I think we're all pretty chill. There also is a lot of sleeping because we travel so much, so right up until the show starts, we're basically just sleeping. So I don't think we really have time to be nervous for the yeah. show. Yeah. Well, let's start from the beginning. I mean, you guys came on the scene with I'm Ready. Uh, we you know, sampled SpongeBob, had a very successful video. It was really cute, really creative. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Did you guys, uh, were you prepared for as much attention and radio play as it got? Actually, about two years ago, Ryan and I were sitting together in a college class tweeting our video of I'm Ready to a hundred different celebrities. And uh, we didn't expect anybody to respond, but we were going to keep trying. And Sia actually found the video, wow. responded, retweeted it, and we met her at her hotel for brunch. Okay. And she introduced us to a lot of people in the industry, and from there it kind of took off. And it was really exciting to see this thing that we made, that we wrote and produced and mixed, just the three of us in our living room, take off on radio. Absolutely. And speaking of living room, you guys are all brothers. So is it hard to be in a band with your brothers? I mean, I know a lot of siblings like have fights or spats or uh, disagreements. And obviously the oldest one is always thinks they're in charge. Or is it kind of cool? No, I, he's the oldest. I don't think any one of us are in charge. I think we all just really respect each other as musicians. We all kind of like the same kind of uh, music from the 50s and 60s. So we have all these uh, influences that we grew up together. So it's kind of a, an easy process in that way. How has it been doing live shows? Because obviously you guys get to meet the fans, um, you know, the people. You see numbers tweeting at you and stuff, but then you're actually going to meet people and see people. What has it been like doing live shows and traveling like that? That is one of the best parts of the live show. Like you said, you see all these people on Twitter saying, like, come to your show, and then you actually get to see them. It's just such so rewarding for us to actually be able to do that. Yeah. But now you guys are moving into a new phase. You guys have an EP, so tell me the title, when it drops, uh, a little bit about that. The Infinity EP, which is our second EP, is out on iTunes now. Perfect. And our next single is called Infinity. And we filmed a video a couple weeks ago. Uh, it's a really cool, interesting kind of video, very different from I'm Ready. Um, so we wanted to show kind of different side of AJR with this new single. And with it the, being your second EP, like what kind of growth are we seeing? What, what's different maybe from what they they already assume they know about yeah, you guys. I think a, a big value of ours is surprising people. I think I'm Ready kind of surprises you with what a kind of weird pop song it is. And our goal with Infinity was just to show a new depth and every song on the EP really shows a new uh, facet of AJR. And let's say they only listen to one song to sell you on the EP. What's the song that you recommend? Go. Um, Oh, God, that's so hard. Like you said, everything is so diverse with us. But I guess I would say Infinity. I think it's, uh, it's probably my favorite song on the EP. I think it's a really big anthemic feel. And hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah. And then what's next? You know, you have the EP. You have a show right now. Uh, what's kind of like the game plan for you guys? What's kind of in the, in the near future for the rest of the year? Uh, in a couple of weeks, we're actually doing a headline tour throughout the Northeast. And then we're going to be uh, doing a bit more touring. We're doing some international stuff in the new year. And then we're going to be hitting hard with the single Infinity starting in the new year. And you guys said you're going on tour. What are some of the places you're going, some of the cities? Are you going out on tour with anybody uh, for opening acts? Or? He knows all that stuff. You're, you're the good guy. You're the oldest brother. You have to know all that. Um, actually, in the U.S., we're doing all headline stuff for now, which is really exciting because we get to do a longer set and shows a lot of music to the fans. Um, but we're actually heading down to Australia at the end of January to open for the Vamps. Oh, wow. So that should be cool. That's going to be awesome. Not yeah. only do you get to work with them, but, you know, international, it's cool. Very Australia. cool, yeah. And check AJRBrothers.com for details about touring.